The Lord said I should tell someone today to start using panty liners. Your vagina is not supposed to smell like flowers. You have to shave downwards. I use aloe vera gel to shave my vagina. In today's video, I am going to be telling you guys my top feminine hygiene tips. How you keep your Miss V or your kitty cat clean and fresh all day and also in this video i'm going to be reviewing this cute hair guys can you see my hair can you see this hair i got this hair from svt svt gave me this very very cute hair Hair like this, you can apply some conditioner to bring down the curl. What you need is a spray bottle with water. Um, there's water inside this bottle, and then I'm going to be adding my leave in conditioner. This is the dark and lovely leave in conditioner. I'm going to put the conditioner into this um water mixture, and I'm going to spray it on my hair to bring down the curls. Okay. This is the final look of the hair. You can see how natural this hair looks like. I love this hair so much. So guys, let's get into today's video. I will start off by saying that your vagina is not supposed to smell like flowers. Yeah, neither is it supposed to smell like chocolate or sweet or perfume do not listen to people that tell like that tell you that oh my vagina smells like flowers so i don't have any smell do not listen to them oh it is a big fat lie nobody's vagina smells like flowers or perfume or chocolate that is a big fat lie i'm gonna be telling you how i shave my vagina area i use aloe vera gel to shave my vagina area yes that is what i use i use aloe vera gel like when i was in university i tried using the vit hair removal cream yeah that one that is meant for armpits and for the legs i used it in my pubic area and i regretted using it there because after i finished using it like i was having discharge i was having like odors and all and all that stuff so i do not use that anymore i prefer using this i use aloe vera gel to shave my vagina area this one is finished i got this one yesterday i think this is a new one so i use aloe vera gel to shave my downstairs area what i do to get like a perfect shave is that I shave at the end of my shower. I do not shave when I just like go into the bathroom. I do not just carry my shaving stick and you know trying to shave. I shave at the end of my um my bath or I shave at the end of like after I finish bathing. That is the time that I shave. I since I started exfoliating my vagina area before shaving, I have never never had any like bumps or ingrown hairs you have to shave at the end of your shower because then your hair follicles would have been softer yeah so you want to make sure you shave at the end of your shower and you want to make sure that you exfoliate that area exfoliation is very very good because it's going to help to like lighten the area like your pubic area is going to lighten it a little bit and it's also going to help to prevent ingrown hairs so what i do is that i use my exfoliating gloves to exfoliate that part of my body i do not use scrubs i do not use scrubs yes i have scrub here with me i do not use scrubs to exfoliate that part of my my vagina area because if you use scrubs scrubs normally have like um fragrance and your vagina does not want anything that has fragrance in it like i do not use anything that has a smell or like a fragrance in that part of my body mm -mm. i use just my exfoliating gloves to exfoliate that area what i do is that i wear my gloves like so i wear my gloves and then i take 
my dudu osun soap yes this is the right time to tell you guys that dudu osun soap has a fragrance free um a fragrance free soap yes i don't know if you guys can see the label you can see dudu osun fragrance free fragrance free this soap doesn't have any smell i take out the soap i lather it on my exfoliating gloves and then i exfoliate that area like gently gently you have to put a lot of soap like so there'll be lots of foam and i exfoliate that area if you know like you have a sensitive vagina you do not have to do what i did but i use um a fragrance free soap so like it has been working for me like since i started using this soap that's working for me like i don't have any um any reaction down there okay so i use dudu osun i get out the ladder from the soap and then when the ladder is much on my gloves and so i exfoliate that area gently you do not want to use a scrub because a scrub can be too hard on that area and it has fragrance in it and anything that has fragrance is not good for your vagina okay it is not good for your vagina anything that has fragrance stay clear stay clear you have to make sure you put plenty like the soap you know to do so normally foams you have to make sure that, that there is plenty foam on your gloves so that you will not injure your vagina because these exfoliating gloves they are also kind of hard so you want to make sure that there is plenty soap on it so when you are scrubbing like the soap is doing the work the gloves actually is not meeting your vagina dry like there is soap on it so it's going to like um help so you're just gonna scrub that part of your vagina after scrubbing you're going to rinse it off and after rinsing what i do is that i apply my aloe vera gel i do not use a pea size amount like i don't use like a pea size amount i don't use a pea size I use plenty of the aloe vera gel. I put the aloe vera gel there, then I take my shaving stick. Yes, I take my shaving stick. This one is um this one is a two blade razor and it's five in a pack. So I take my razor and then guys I shave downwards. I shave downwards. That is what I do. Do not shave upwards. I know some people might be tempted to shave upwards, but do not shave upwards. You have to shave downwards. This is how the hairs are going. The hairs are going downwards. So you shave downwards and then you shave side to side. Like you shave downwards, you shave side to side. So that is what I do. But if you are not a big fan of shaving, maybe you don't like shaving or maybe your religion don't permit you to shave or you don't just like shaving for any reason, you can actually trim the hairs. When I was in secondary school, I did not know how to shave at all. So what I did then was to use a scissors. I use a scissors, not this one, but like a smaller one. Um, I use a scissors to trim the hairs um, around my vagina. That is what I did. I use a scissors. So if you are not really a big fan of shaving, you can use a scissors to like just shave around, just to keep that place trimmed and so that so that your vagina can breathe. You know, your vagina has to breathe. Hairs can trap in it and odors and everywhere like it's just going to be nasty so you have to make sure that you trim the hairs or you shave it or even if you don't want to shave at all then you, there are ways you can you know take care of that area that it is not going to smell so that is just what i do when i'm shaving and it has really really helped me a whole lot make sure you scrub around your vagina do not actually scrub the whole like the the main the main do not carry your hand and go there and want to scrub that place no you can scrub around your vagina scrub around your vagina but the actual hole please do not go and scrub that place the only thing that you need to put there is water if at all you want to wash that place make sure you are using only water only water on that particular hole do not go and carry your soap and shove it inside no that is not what you want to do you want to make sure you use water water is what you need to clean the actual vagina but around the surroundings of the vagina you can use your soap but the actual hole the actual hole please do not put anything inside that place just use water to clean it and you are good to go after i finish shaving i apply a thin layer of 
blue seal vaseline or sometimes i apply my baby oil just to keep that area moisturized so that it will not be dry okay so i apply vaseline sometimes i apply baby oil when i come out of the shower just to make that place um moisturized the second tip i have for you is to drink lots of water when you are drinking lots of water it is going to help your vagina like whatever you are putting inside your system it is going to tell on her so you have to make sure that you are drinking lots of water if you are a big fan of soda like sodas like coke fanta you have to like you have to slow down you have to slow down because when you are taking too much of those sodas it's not going to really really help her one thing that i love to drink instead of those sodas is cranberry juice and this cranberry juice this one is from ocean spray and it has 130 calories per bottle it has sugar in it yes it has sugar and it also has vitamin c 100 percent vitamin c i actually love taking um cranberry juice instead of sodas cranberry juice is way way better than drinking sodas on sweetened cranberry juice doesn't taste nice at all but it it contains a lot of vitamins like it is going to help with utis like urinary tract infection taking cranberry juice is going to help with urinary tract infections that is one thing i love about cranberry juice the next tip i have for you guys is to take your shower two times in a day guys you all know that i went to nysc camp i was literally bathing only once in a day because the conditions were not favorable for me to shower two times in a day like it was not favorable you know sometimes it will be cold in the morning and then it will be cold in the night or maybe there's too many people in the bathroom like you cannot bathe like i when i was in camp i barely bathed two times in a day and i was just like oh my god i cannot wait to leave this place so i can take good care of myself okay so bathe two times in a day when you are bathing two times in a day it's going to help to in eliminate odors and smell make sure you are showering two times in a day do not go out to work or maybe you go out then you come back home and then you sleep like that make sure you bathe two times in a day another tip i have for you guys is to wear cotton pants cotton pants are actually the best guys cotton pants makes your vagina to breathe very very well so start wearing cotton pants if you are someone that loves to wear g-strings and satin pants and um what's it called if you love to wear those kind of pants you might want to get some cotton pants you know some people don't like wearing cotton pants they prefer wearing g-strings and the rest but i feel like you should get you know some cotton pants and you know wear them on some days instead of just wearing your g-string and your satin and your silk pants sometimes just to wear cotton pants you know you, you know what i mean okay so i have here with me some cotton pants and guys also make sure you change your pants every three months or at most five months try and get new sets of pants every five months like dispose of the old ones and get new ones invest in yourself guys another tip i'm going to give you guys is that when you're going to bed try and sleep without your underwear yes when you're going to bed try and sleep without your underwear because just imagine in the morning time you wear your underwear right throughout the day you're wearing your underwear the following day you're wearing your underwear like every single day of your life you're wearing your underwear what time is your vagina going to like breathe or like have some space okay so the best time to allow your vagina to breathe and um, you know like be happy is in the night time so make sure in the night time do not wear your panties to sleep sleep without your panties you can just wear like your night wear but just don't wear a pant like let her breathe even if you are not used to it try it first and maybe with time you would you know you'll get used to it okay the lord said i should tell someone today to start using panty liners start using panty liners start using panty liners guys panty liners are something that you have to start using i am serious guys if you start using panty liners i'm not sure you can ever stop using panty liners because panty liners like are a game changer i wish i knew about them earlier when i was in secondary school i knew panty liners later when i was in university but i wish i knew them earlier because panty liners are really really nice like you know how when i was younger i like after my period like 
okay i do not want to wear a pad after my period because i'm tired of wearing pads so i'll just wear my pants and then the leftover um dark blood discharge from your period everything is just going to stain the panties stain my trouser every single thing i was like yo there has to be something that a girl can use at the end of her period to like collect all those discharges and all those things and then i found out there is something called panty liners guys if you are not using panty liners you have to start using panty liners panty liners are a game changer you just let me show you guys what it looks like okay they are like small pads they are like small pads so you can use them at the end of your period just you know take take out the bag place it on your pants and then you are good to go it is going to collect the leftover blood every single thing every discharge you're going to collect and the only thing you need to do is just to like roll it up put it in uh, tissue paper and throw it in the bin do not put this inside your toilet because it's going to clog your toilet but wrap it off and then throw it in the bin the same thing when you're using wipes you do not want your wipes to clog the toilet so you just want to take your after you finish using your wipes then you just throw it in the bin so that is what i do something that i love to take when i'm on my period i love to take this um yogurt this is the firaco yogurt fruit salad i love taking this a lot especially when i'm on my period um i'm very sure you guys must have seen this before i take my yogurt fruit salad very very like i take it anytime on my period i take it before my period because we all know that yogurt contains calcium and calcium is really really good when especially when you're on your period like it can help you a lot and this one is the fruit salad one you can take um you can take other kind of yogurt you can take weak yogurt just take your gosha on your period it's going to help you a whole lot so another thing that i love to take especially when i'm on my period is the hutessa black olives these are black olives and i think this is what is called babadudu in yoruba or in nigeria i'm not really sure but these are whole black olives and i love taking them when i'm on my period because they help me a lot with constipation and it contains salt so when i'm taking this i'm usually very very careful because it contains salt and you know when there is too much salt especially when, I, when when you're on your period it's not very good so i just like take two I, I rinse it out and then I, I I eat it and then it helps me a lot with constipation. Whenever I take olives, I go to the toilet really really well. And on and on my period, I I tend to get constipated a whole lot. Some people on their period they go to the toilet more frequently. But my own thing is different. Like on my own period, I get constipated. And whenever you're on your period, make sure you are drinking lots of water. Make sure you are eating fruits i eat a lot of fruits when i'm on my period i love eating apples when I'm on my period it makes me feel good you know just make sure you're eating food shall make sure you're taking care of yourself when when you're on your period make sure you're eating some yogurt take care of yourself when you are on your period period i think we've come to the end of this video make sure you check my description for the details of this hair guys you can see i have been talking for the past 30 minutes and look how this hair is this hair is so beautiful like i said this hair is 16 inches deep wave and it has a natural black color you can see how sleek it is it looks like it's coming from my scalp this hair is so nice make sure you check my description for the details of this hair svt hair thank you so much for sending me this cute hair i love it so so much i'll see you guys in my next video until then bye